Alright, welcome back to the door in the basement. We can do our left off of, uh... Oh yeah, the mannequin area. I can't remember- I don't even remember how I got here. I escaped the spiders. And I guess now I'm just going to the mannequins. With a game that has very... paranoid-inducing... sound design. We'll see, I guess, what else can happen in here. Besides plant thorns and annoying dudes and now uh, mannequins. Hurry, hurry, he'll make you better. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Is there anything else? Don't think so. As long as he doesn't attack me when I turn my back to him. Well. Why must I always want to sneeze when I start recording now? Seriously. Alright. I'm all good. I'm all good. That's a peculiar looking head. You look... sketchy. Handles missing. This is a completely new area to me, though. This wasn't in the demo. What if I'll need to be grabbing parts eventually? I'm just glad I don't have to deal with those spiders, though, seriously. It's been a while since I actually played part two. Uh, there's been just so many games popping up that I needed to wrap up. But, oh well. Looks like his weapon probably should not be seen by them. No, f <laughs> speak of the fucking devil. I should not be seen that by that person. They, they fucking turn around or they hear me running. Get away. Okay, they're pretty slow. Stop following me. How do I lose them? Oh. Fuck. Piece of shit. Seriously, he's still he's still coming. If I if I lose him, oh. oh oh, they're just chatting. Okay, they're 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 friendly. Either way, I'm gonna have to wait for him to walk a long distance before I. He has to go all the way around the boxes, beyond the head, beyond the wheelchair ramp, and down in the caves where I first met him before I can go back there, or he's just going to turn around and chase me again. So I'm going to just wait here a little bit and drink some G Fuel, not sponsored. Alright, finally. It took a while. Just want to make sure he doesn't see me somehow in his peripheral vision. There we go. That took a lot longer than I'd be hoping, but... Though, otherwise, I'd want to know if there's anything in that cave, like, any secrets or not. Um... You know what? Nope. Let's see. I didn't check everywhere. I want to be thorough. Just gotta make sure we try this time not to get seen. Like before. There may not be anything here, but I want to make absolutely sure he's going that way. No, nothing. Just the one area that they have lit up, which shows proper lighting. Not just sound design, but competent light design or lighting. Well, we'll get to figure out what's over here then. I guess seriously, I've already been playing for six minutes. Save? Another save, really? I just... I just whatever. 
Like I just saved. That wasn't that far. And we already got another save. I'm gonna assume something bad might happen because they introduced another save. Pretty... Like, that wasn't... Alright. Some giant thing. Oh. Are you a blacksmith or something? You, you got a suit, so I mean, I can't imagine you being a bad person. The doll maker. Oh, what exquisite parts you have. You'll make a fine addition to my collection. I know a lot of people want to add me to their collection, but I'm... I can't say I'm taken. That's not true. Um... Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to say to him, honestly. I'm just not... I'm, I'm not... I'm not acquirable. I'm only part of the Founder's Edition, which... You... Which you can't get anymore? I can't think of anything witty to say or funny. I don't know. I'll get to you as soon as I'm done here. Don't go anywhere. Okay, well... I, I'll just wander around. Hope you get distracted long enough, I guess. Me and my exquisite parts. I'm just gonna go this way, don't mind me. Wow. Are you... What happened to the lighting? Oh. Fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to probably run through this while it's dark. Fantastic. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just gonna try to find my way around here and hope they don't attack they're gonna surround me when it lights up aren't they shocking it hasn't yet strange room well see you guys I'm gone big dude's probably gonna be a problem though You okay? You... I... I'm just gonna presume he's okay. Oh. Why well, ain't that fantastic? Um, any flashlights? Anything here? No. Great. Oh. More fantastic lighting. I didn't see this tunnel here before. Caven was right there, I do believe them. Benjamin Taylor. The patient has had several group therapy sessions, and his condition does not appear to be improving. We will continue these sessions for a few more weeks, but if there is no clear improvement, I'll begin administering EMDR treatment. Additionally, I could prescribe Ben some antidepressants to aid in his recovery. How you doing? Why are you on um, behind a fence? How did you get in there? I, I whatever. You see, I that. Ah. This fucking sound design. You're here, but you weren't the one walking. Some other douche is constantly walking behind me. Maybe he actually is moving.
looks like this should be powered, I guess, by a mechanism. I need a crank. I'm just gonna use this arm or leg? No, I need a crank. Oh, oh. Ah, good. Yup. Thought I needed a crank. It looked like there was a socket there, but there's no user interface showing me. Eh, holes are holes. Through the brambles. Glad these pipes don't break upon landing on top of them with my heavy weight. While continuing my search for Z Zoe, I've come across a lot of machinery. It seems so out of place. What's the purpose behind the machinery? Who built it? I tried questioning the inhabitants, but none of them would give an answer. Don't worry about it, they'd say. How much do they know? I'm just gonna presume them completely fucking stupid. It's better than presuming them full of knowledge and super dark secrets, and they just aren't- are just unwilling to share the secrets. They all seem... Sounds like a doggo. Hopefully you can't break through those boards. This place actually looks familiar now. I think this part was part of the demo. I think. Prescribed a small dose of antidepressants and begun to administer EMDR treatment. The combination of medication and this new treatment have been quite successful, as Ben has seemed much calmer during the sessions. While recounting the events at Green Valley Forest, he still experiences heightened stress, but to a lessened degree than only a few weeks ago. I'll continue this treatment for the next few weeks and keep an eye on how the patient improves over that time. Have to see if there's a purpose. One of these will be the way out, but let's see. Yeah. It's definitely familiar. This is nearing the part right. They will attempt to drown me. Save. What is this room for? Huh. Well then. A little dark. It's, it's too dark. Okay. Flashlight. Flashlight, flashlight. Oh, I get a flashlight finally. Wait. Was this hallway always lit? This is familiar again. The door closes or something. Oh, yeah, you. I remember you. You're a weirdo. I think I have to run away from him at some point. I think after reading this, he turns up behind me. Spoiler warning, if I'm presuming right. I've met some strange people down here, but one of them is in particular is unnerving. I've never actually met them face to face, but I've been able to speak to them through a small grate along the wall at various locations their sickly arm beckoning me from the other side. They claim to know secrets about this place, but refuse to tell me anything unless I bring them eyes. The ramblings of another insane inhabitant, most likely. But what if they really do know something about this place? Would I ever be willing to sacrifice an eye for information? 
Could it help me find a way out of here? Yeah, I knew it. I remember. I'd probably get a bunch of people. The other kind of YouTubers that would just be like, Whoa! Whoa! You know, the people I'm talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about. All X, Y, and Z that you thought in your head. Exactly. I agree completely with you. Those people. They turn around. They are completely clueless that a living creature that they put their back against could somehow move behind you unpredictably. Who'd have imagined? An entity that you don't control doing as they wish. But for me, I think of all variables. And if you can catch me off guard, good fucking job, man. I think of everything upon everything, man. My brain goes a mile a minute. And goddamn does that suck when I'm trying to sleep and my mind doesn't shut the fuck up. I swear to god, man. And it's similar enough that I have to tell myself to shut the fuck up if I thought, talk or think too much. Why do you think Nico rants are mandatory? Everyone down here seems unable or won't or unwilling to talk about what is going on, but occasionally a piece of information slips out. When questioning one of the inhabitants about the machinery and what purpose it serves, they actually responded the pipes siphon water to abattoir. It's the first coherent sentence I've heard from one of them. I tried questioning them further about this abattoir person, but they quickly reverted to the usual don't worry about it response I've been hearing from everyone else. I need more information. Why is there a slaughterhouse in this place? It's a good question. Why is there? Very good question. I wonder when that guy's gonna appear behind me. Sup? Don't worry about it. Don't go in the water. I'll do what I want. I want to swim. You told me not to. Now I want to swim. I'll tell him not to worry about it. How about that? Give him a piece of my a piece of fucking uh, a piece of their own medicine. There's a hand I got to feed this eye to. Alright. Should be an eyeball somewhere around here. Though I'm not familiar with this place. I'm in the water. What are you gonna do about it? I'll search it first. Before going up the ladder. Door. Crank. Oh. What was that noise? Well, those aren't good sounds. Something's dropping, but not when I'm looking. What would be dropping, but not being visible? It's a good thing I did it in this order, though, rather than closest to furthest, because then I likely have to go back there, and I will be the shortest distance. Well. Weird. Very weird. Something in the walls, I guess. 
Don't go in the water. S. <sighs> Gotta find an eyeball. Ah, that's what it did. Excellent. I don't remember seeing anything in the walls, so... Or the uh, hand thing to give the eye. Still makes me paranoid. Wait, this this is also familiar. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. This place is all too familiar. Let's jump on this. Boop. And then. There we go. Nice try. Yeah, I was sort of used to that from the demo. But I mean, anyone else who runs into that situation and gets all panicky like I first did, eh, it, it, I'd say it gets them. But for me, oh, hello. Sure, I'll give you an eye. Secrets for eyes? Hand over an eye. Tell me what you know. The way is open only to those who have witnessed the unnatural. Only the eyes of one who has seen beyond their world can see the door, and only the witness may cross the threshold it calls to them. I don't know if that's exactly helpful, but, uh, okay. I wouldn't say it's helpful, honestly. It doesn't exactly let me know. It's like, if you see more weird shit, then you are... <sighs> the more weird shit you see, the more you're invited to the tea party? I, I, I... Oh, no, that's a loading screen. Let's check out over here first then, quickly. I don't think I missed anything, but... I must be thorough. Oh? Wait. No, it's locked. Alright. Is this a secret area? Uh, maybe it's like I missed a key? That would suck, honestly. But, uh, mm, I'd really suck if it were true. Ah. Oh well, whatever. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it right here. I hope you enjoyed! Not a lot of talking. Just going through the vines, going through the weird mask doll dude, he just says, is the doll dude going to even make a comeback? He's like, hey, wait there, I want your juicy, juicy parts. And then I'm just like, yeah, okay, see you. Maybe he'll make a comeback. For some reason, I don't think so. I think he's just like a dude in his zone, and we get to, we're experiencing levels that have their inhabitants but we're just sort of glimpsing into their world, but not really staying. We're just sort of touring 
the strangeness of the basement. I don't know, I don't know where this is even going. Like, I don't, I can't really conceive the ending. It must be something probably weird. But anyway, I hope you look forward to the future and the ending whenever I get to it. I have no idea how long this game is, honestly. But I hope you've been enjoying thus far. If you have been enjoying, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big muffle scarber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm -hmm.